What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Noon's Bassing. Happy New Year, happy 2024 guys. I hope you guys get to smash at least one PB this year. No matter what fish species it is, we're gonna get on them. In this video, I'm just gonna be going over my favorite summer baits that I like to throw. Uh, if you guys do your own research online or whatever, you might see some slight variations, but I'm just going to be doing this video purely on my opinion, what I've had the most success with and what I would most likely throw. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get to it. So in South Africa, we've been blessed with quite a long summertime period. So I would consider our peak summertime to be from beginning of November till the end of Feb. Just before our summer is when majority of our fish species spawn. The carp, barbel, muddies, yellows, bass, kerpa, you name it. So during the summertime, we've got a ton of fry in our waters. So all these baits, I keep in mind that we've got a ton of fry in our, in our dams. So starting off with the first bait that I will throw, it is a lipless crank. There is the lipless crank that I've got tied on at the moment. It is the Sixth Sense Quake 70 in Shad Pro. I will throw this almost every time that I go fishing in the summertime, looking for grass lines on the edge of grass lines over some rock. You can yo-yo it on the bottom. It's quite a versatile bait. So yeah, this is definitely a must throw in my opinion in the summertime. I also enjoy throwing my square ball cranks. And one of my favorite square balls at the moment is this one right here. It is the Guggen Flatbanger in Mondo Shad color. Also really, really good on grass lines over like submerged trees, submerged rocks. I've caught tons of fish in extremely hot weather on the square ball. It says on the lure at the bottom here, it dives to three to six feet. And I think that's quite accurate. I'll fish this over two and a half, three meters, and even at, and sometimes even at three meters, you can feel it bump a rock or a tree that's sticking up. So yeah, I think that's pretty accurate. Three to six feet diving. All right, moving on, sticking to the bait fish fry kind of theme. Definitely, and I think a lot of people will agree with this, is a fluke. A variety of colors will work. These are just the Zoom Super Flukes. One is a watermelon red pearl, and then the other one is a watermelon gold. I like these two colors a lot. Uh, this one is almost like a baby bass imitation with a little bit of a red flake inside, and then this one is just a natural color that works in almost every single body of water in the country. So, yeah, these two are definitely a must throw in the summertime. And then, what I'll kind of group with that is any of your grubs like your curly tail worms and whatever and for me my favorite grub to fish i'm sure most of you know is the stretch 40 in watermelon black red a mojo rig this one with a light mojo i mean with a light tungsten and how i fish this is i kind of just flick it out and drag it along the bottom you can give it a couple twitches and uh, the fluke you want to fish kind of like a soft jerk bait you can switch it up fishing weightless texas rig mojo there's so many ways that you can fish a fluke and your curly tail grubs. So I'll kind of put those two together because you kind of fish them in a similar way and they both work phenomenally in the summertime. The stretch 40 you guys will see me use pretty much the whole year but in summer they slam fish. Again sticking to the bait fish fry imitation it is the jackhammer. This is a Z-Man jackhammer chatterbait with a white chartreuse skirt, silver blade, and I've got the Berkeley Power Stinger in white as a trailer on this. I hear spinnerbaits are also phenomenal in the summertime, but I have a lot more success on the chatterbait, so I would much rather throw a chatterbait than a spinnerbait. If you've got confidence in a spinnerbait over a chatterbait, throw the spinnerbait, and if you've got more confidence in the chatterbait, throw the chatterbait. I like the white chartreuse color. I've had the most success on this color. I always say, the lure you catch the most with is the one you throw the most. So throw whatever you're confident with, but a spinner or a chatterbait also a must throw in the summer. Another thing that I like to throw in the summer, which is a bit more discreet compared to a chatterbait or a spinner, and my dad actually got me into this, is paddle tails. So these are the Guggen Saucy Swimmers in Magic Shad. 
can see the bottom is like a kind of blue pearl color and the top's just a watermelon. Uh, yeah, you can throw this on a normal Texas rig, a belly weighted hook, a underspin. There's also so many ways that you can fish this and it's a, quite a natural looking profile. So also paddle tails, also really, really, really good option if you're not getting any fish on the spinner or the chatterbait. Something else that is also really abundant during the summertime in South Africa are frogs. If you have fished any body of water in the summertime in South Africa and you've camped or even just fished into the late afternoon, you would have heard those toads and frogs just making the most noise ever. So definitely tie on a hollow body or any plastic frog imitation. Right now I've got the six cent Vega frog tied on. It is a popping frog. I have caught tons of fish. I think this is probably my most successful hollow body. I do prefer throwing the soft plastic frogs like the Ornu toads, Itsy secret frogs, Z-Man goat toads. All of those are really, really, really good. And I feel like your hookup ratio is slightly better than the hollow bodies, but I don't know, I just tied this on because I was in the mood for some hollow body fishing and when you get bit and catch a fish on a hollow body, it just feels so good. So, But if I'm in a tournament situation, I would much rather tie on a soft plastic frog, weightless, so I can bring it over the lily pads or over the grass nice and easily in the nose and dipping down into the vegetation. So yeah, a frog, again, a must throw. Okay, next up is a bait that I believe will work pretty much the whole year. It is the Nuke Punch. <laughs> I discovered this bait last year and I started fishing it late winter, early spring. And since then I have been catching fish. Cold days, hot days, it's just been catching fish. Anywhere where there's vegetation, thick vegetation, you need to get that bait through. It's, oh, it's just catching so many fish. So I'll group this with a jig. A jig with a type of crawl on the end of it just flicking it into thick vegetation where those fish might be looking for shaded cover a little bit cooler spots hunch through that vegetation get into that shade and see if they're sitting under there if this drops in front of them they won't even think twice they're just going to open their mouth and take it in so nuke punch and jigs also are highly recommended all right guys so that was just a little run through about what are my favorite baits to throw in the summertime you might have noticed that i left some of the really really popular and obvious ones out like your senkos and jerk baits or your deep diving cranks and those will all work but these are just my favorite ones that i'll be throwing in the summertime so if you guys have any other baits that you guys love throwing in the summertime and consistently work for you guys, let me know in the comments so that people watching this video can also go and read through and have a look, maybe pick up an idea or two from you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found this a little bit helpful and I will see you guys in the next video. I wish you guys all the best for 2024 and hopefully we all can catch some monster fish. Peace, guys.